Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a script that allows you to convert a specific target window like this WhatsApp window into an icon like this, which you can drag and move around the screen to reposition it. And once you do a double right click on this icon, then it will bring back up the WhatsApp window in full size in this manner. So if you're interested in a script like this, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. So I've actually explained everything about how you should be using this script. So you do a right double click on a target window like this. You can convert it into an icon and you can move it around using the left mouse button. And then once you reposition the icon, if you do a double right click on the icon, then it will bring up the window in the full size in the position where you have last had your icon. So this would be useful if you say, for example, are using a application like WhatsApp often. However, you want it to have it minimized when you're not using it. But to bring it back up, you either have to click on the icon from the taskbar or run a hockey to unminimize the window. So instead of doing that, you can convert it into an icon, have it sitting somewhere else, go about doing your thing. And once you need it, you can just uh, double click on it to bring it back up in this manner. So now I'm first going to explain how you can change this to another window other than WhatsApp. So for example, I've got Kakao Talk here, which is a Korean version of WhatsApp. So let me just minimize Kakao Talk. And here's my, uh, sorry, minimize my WhatsApp. And here's my Kakao Talk. So basically all you have to do is go to this variable called icon and convert this into the name of the icon file or the image file kakaotalkicon.png which is saved in the same folder as where your script would be saved as well as update the win title uh, which is going to be able to be found using the window a spy and I will put in double win title in here. So I'll use that cacao top, the window title, as well as the process name, which is this executable file name. And I will rerun the script. And now it should be good to double click or double right click on this cacao top window to convert it into a cacao talk icon like that. So from this point on, it's basically going to be the same thing. Now, if you convert this into an icon and accidentally or intendedly click on the Kakao Talk icon from the taskbar, it's basically going to destroy that icon and have the Kakao Talk or your target window showing up in this manner. So let me just bring up the WhatsApp, change this back to WhatsApp and rerun the script and close out of Kakao Talk. So I'll explain how this works. If you watch my previous videos, you will get most of how this should work very quickly. So these are the variables that you change in order to change the target window. And we've got on message, two lines of on message here. These basically are for the GUI, which is going to be this icon. This icon is actually just a GUI. And this left mouse button down means I'm gonna move this GUI around if you uh, do a left mouse click on it and if you do a right button double click on it then I'm going to run the function down here which goes into this label called label start which is a part of this hotkey that I have so label start is right here and the hotkey is the right button it's a single right button click and it only works when my mouse is over the win title which is the WhatsApp executable here. So now double clicking on this GUI will run this one. But if I bring it back up and do a right mouse button click while my mouse is over here, it will wait for another right mouse button click within a time frame of 0.2 seconds. And if you do not do a double right button click, then it will go into this error level being set to one. And therefore it will just go straight into return afterwards. Else if you uh, actually do a double click of the right button then it's going to get the window state so 
if you actually min maximize this and do a double right click on it it's not going to convert this into an icon as you can see here i'm doing a double right click on it and that's a control that i have made to stop the script from converting a window that is in a maximized state into an icon and that is exactly what this does here and uh, if you do a so this part is where the window state of this window is minimized so i'll explain that a little bit later because we first have to uh, convert this into an icon which only works when the window state is zero which means the window is neither minimized or maximized and so it will get the position of the window first and then move it to somewhere outside and somewhere outside of the window and that is important because otherwise you'll see a movement between where your target window was before and from that point to where the icon is when you double click on the icon so you'll see the movement from here to there so if you want to prevent that you keep this wind move uh, command right here so before this window gets minimized it will be sent outside of the screen and then get minimized so here is the wind minimized that happens afterwards and then we create the GUI here where you add the picture to the GUI which is going to be the icon file that you add up here and then we show the GUI in the position of where our target window is and then we have the wind weight active here and that is because I'm going to make this script to wait until this WhatsApp window is activated and that's important because that will be used to identify whether you have clicked on the icon from the taskbar because when you click on the icon from the taskbar this becomes rendered meaningless so if you click on it your active window is going to be WhatsApp window right and then when the WhatsApp window gets activated and at that point if this window which is the name of this GUI window exists then it will basically destroy the GUI and restore the WhatsApp window to into the position of where the GUI is so if I move it here and then click on the WhatsApp icon from the taskbar it will convert the window back into well actually it just restores the WhatsApp window into the position of the GUI so that's basically what it does now if you say for example have it iconized like this that's when you're going to want to run this one when you double right click on this icon and so if you double do a double right con right click on this icon then it's going to run this label down here which is going to start from this point and you will know that the window state of the target window the whatsapp window will be minimized so negative one we will go into the selfie statement and so we'll get the position of the GUI and store it into these two variables and we will restore the WhatsApp window and then we will move it into where the position of the GUI is so if I do a double right click on it that's basically what's going to happen by running these lines of codes and I think there's nothing else so much to explain so axis sub is where you exit out of the script say for example if I convert this into a icon a I have accidentally exited out of the script then it's going to run this label right here in order to destroy the GUI and have the WhatsApp window showing back up in this manner I've already explained what this mouse is over function is so I won't be going into that so this is it for today's video hopefully I explained the script well if you have any questions write them down in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video